Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Today, I want to try Greed Mode, because we unlock uh, Lilith by beating Greed Mode with Azazel. So I want to try that and see if we can pull it off. And then I think uh, maybe we'll start some challenge runs in the near future as well. Those are kind of a kind of a cool thing, let you unlock some additional stuff. Is that the regular heart? Yeah, that's actually really good, because that'll help us get a deal with the devil at the end of all of this. Uh, what do we got in here? Tinted rock up there. Probably worth purchasing a bomb, although it looks like we can't. Uh, we're going to want the pacifier for sure, because it's a tears up. Okay, I think we are ready to start. Let's get going here. And Azazel, relatively easy, but a lot weaker on greed mode because it's such tight quarters and you got to get so close uh, to enemies. But still, uh, without a doubt, the strongest character in The Binding of Isaac, if you ask me. Greed mode is interesting. It's a, oh, it's a special mode in the game that essentially uh, you fight waves of enemies. And at the end, you fight uh, a boss. I can just kind of hang out here over these pots where I'm safe until my brimstone laser recharges. There we go. Oh, I hate these guys. I hate them so much. <laughs> oh, well. That's all right. A little bit of damage there, but we're not doing too bad. Uh, I don't think they can actually get to me if I just kind of sit here and cheese it a little bit. Um, so, the button in the middle will start the waves. If I step on it, it will damage me, but it will also stop the waves as well. Managed to get rid of those guys without too much problem. There we go. And with each wave, you get uh, a little bit of money to spend on upgrades and stuff. So, let's get the binky. That is a pretty significant tears down. I'm actually going to want this as well, although I don't think I'm going to have enough money to get it. Huh. And also, there's an item in this room, so I'm going to want to get a key. Uh, you know what? Let's... Oh, I accidentally started that. Didn't mean to. There we go. We'll just kind of cheese dingle a little bit, if we can. Oh, that was bad. Should have waited for the attack. There we go. And he's dead. And then we just killed the little guys... And the next boss wave will start. Polycephalus. Pretty annoying boss, actually. But I'm safe here over the rocks. There we go. Mostly annoying because he can basically just teleport. Come on. Pop up. There you are. All right. Let's see how much cash we have. We have 12 cents. That's not going to be enough to buy this item, unfortunately. So let's get a key. And that way we can get into our item room. And it's got the Bible, which is... Oh, no, Book of Revelations. I'm sorry, that's not the Bible. So, actually, that's really good for us, because that will allow us to generate spirit hearts. Uh, so, then we fight this final wave, and if we complete this, we will get a deal with the devil. So, it doesn't matter if we take damage on the room or, or not. It's just whether or not we complete this final boss wave. Ooh, he stopped right before... There we go. And you're dead. All right, let's see what we got in here. A couple of tarot cards. We got the Fool, which I already had, and the Magician. I think the Fool is definitely the one we want. Uh, and then let's check our Cursed Room. And in here we have a Lemon Party Pill and a Health Up. Okay, that's actually quite good. And then we'll use the Fool card to teleport out so that we don't take damage. And then we'll grab that heart. And now... I think we are basically done with this floor. There's not a whole lot else we could do here. Uh, there was that tinted rock, but I don't have a bomb, and I can't buy a bomb without re-rolling, and I don't think it's worth spending the money to re-roll the items in the shop. So let's just move on and see what we can get. Greed mode tends to be a little bit shorter as well than, uh, than regular mode. Uh, squeezy is excellent. Tears up and a couple of spirit hearts. There's no reason in greed mode to not try and maximize the amount of money that you get. So let's do that. Let's check our cursed room. We have plenty of extra health. And we got Guppy's Tail, which isn't really that useful in, gre in greed mode other than the fact that it is a Guppy item. So, not bad, I guess. Uh, the turret... Oh, we definitely want the Cancer Trinket. For sure. 
that's going to greatly increase our rate of fire. Uh, and then... I don't know that we necessarily want any of this other stuff. Jesus Juice is pretty good. Like, it is a damage upgrade. And the turret's actually pretty good as well, but not as good as Book of Revelation. So, I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, careful. Gotta be careful. There we go. There goes that guy. Uh, definitely need to get some damage upgrades, though. The good news is... Oh, troll bombs, troll bombs. Ah, man. Wasn't a whole lot I could do there. Let's use the Book of Revelation. Generate some spirit hearts. We do get item charges uh, for every wave. So a health generating item like Book of Revelations is a very, very powerful thing in greed mode. There we go. And get rid of you. And you. There we go. And there's our first wave complete. Um, do I want to buy this or save it for the next floor? I'm kind of thinking we want to save our money, honestly. Oh, double quadruple monstro. That's moderately annoying. Ow. Oh, man, so much bad damage. This is, <laughs> this is why Azazel can be challenging from time to time, because I have to get, like, right on top of these guys in order to do damage. So how are you not dead yet? And you too. There we go. We will get a Book of Revelation charge for completing this wave. There we go. And then we'll fight the boss rave. Hopefully get something good in our deal with the devil. We do have two hearts to trade away. There we go. Oh, I didn't get a charge for that? That's kind of surprising. I thought I would. Okay, well, let's do this. Use the Book of Revelation right away. We've got uh, Champion Ragman, which is super annoying as Azazel, because I gotta get right in on him like that. Luckily, I can. Oh, man. Well, and he's also invulnerable for a lot of the fight, which is also quite bad. But here. Ooh. I'm going to make potentially... A oh, I shouldn't have... That was stupid. I should have checked the uh, the tarot card before I left. But I'm going to make a potentially terrible decision here. And put myself down to one black heart to take both items. That way we do get the permanent Horror of Babylon effect. Which means my damage is going to be significantly better. I think it's like a 1.5 times multiplier or something like that uh let's see in here we have a free key which i will definitely take uh we got a curse chest with a couple of troll bombs nothing super good there um i think man none of these items are very good either i think i'll take the uh the spirit heart just to make sure that we don't get killed holy light is great and the screw is also great, although my tier... I think I'm pretty much at the tier cap at this point, so I don't know that it's going to do me a whole lot more good. These guys are annoyingly fast, but they can't stand up to my brimstone laser. There we go. And hold still. Ah, I got hit there. That's okay. Get rid of that. And that. And you... Yeah, our damage is good. I should also make sure I'm using the Book of Revelation at every possible opportunity so that it can start recharging again and we can get the most value out of it. There. And we want to make sure we get rid of these guys before... There we go. Okay, so we're, we're stacking up our money, which is excellent. Um, I think I am going to buy one more Spirit Heart. Um... And actually, we'll we'll wait to see if a key is on sale on the next floor before we go in there. I should probably check our cursed room. Ah, that was bad. There might be something in the cursed room. We'll see. We'll see how we're doing on health at the end of uh, this round. All right, he's dead. Ah, that was bad. And Mask of Infamy. Great. Not what I need. Super annoying boss. Not quite as bad as Azazel as some of the other characters, but annoying nonetheless. 
He just kind of charges at you, but he's invulnerable from the front, so if I didn't have uh, the piercing shot from the brimstone laser, he would be significantly more annoying. There we go. Let's get that. Um, let's actually buy one more spirit heart as well. I can afford it. And then we'll get rid of these boss waves here. And there's no HP up, so odds are I'm not really going to be able to get anything, un unless there's something, like, super good in that deal with the devil. I'm not taking it. There we go. What do we got? Oh, Guppy's head. Um, great item, but not worth three spirit hearts, even though I'm all part of the way to Guppy. I just, I can't. I can't. The, the risk is too great. Uh, we are going to get a High Priestess card. Hmm. Okay. I think I checked both those rooms. I think we head down to the next floor. And we'll just kind of clear out the riffraff. There we go. Good. And that gets us another spirit heart from Book of Revelations, which is excellent. There we go. We're 10 minutes in, not doing too bad. Let's check our shop first, because I, I do have a ton of money. Uh, let's see. I do want to buy a key. That's just a regular red heart in there. None of these items are really useful, and yet again, there is no reroll machine. Come on, game. You gotta work with me. Camo undies, not amazing. Uh, especially in greed mode. Essentially useless in greed mode. And the safety pin is also really not very useful for us. A uh, little bit of a range increase, which is good, but that's pretty much it. I guess we're just going to kind of hold off again and, and hope to get something useful in the next it. And there's a golden chest in there. Uh, you know what? We're going to do it. Uh, and actually, infamy is great. That's a, That was worth it. That was worth the damage we took and the, and the cost of the key, for sure. Infamy is an excellent item. Get out of the way. There goes that one. And you. And you. And up here we have one of these bomb flies. Get rid of that. There we go. You're going to get dead. You're dead. And you're dead. I hate these items. I hate these guys so much. Oh, man. Luckily, we have the damage to take them out quickly, but... Nonetheless, still very annoying enemies. Oh, and our Book of Revelations. I keep forgetting to use it. There we go. Come on, pop up. There we go. That ought to do it. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of enemies. Okay. We made it through. <laughs> made it through in one piece. We're okay. And in here, I could buy another spirit heart. I don't think we need to just yet. I think we'll uh I think we'll just fight our boss waves. A couple of champion uh pest pride? Maybe? No, not pride. I forget which which sin this is, but it's not envy. It's not pride. It's not lust. Sloth? That might be sloth. Ah, uh, double Skolex? That's going to be very annoying. The good news is, once he does actually pop the tail up, I should be able to do some pretty good damage to him. There we go. The problem is the only part of him that's actually vulnerable... Oh man, I'm taking so much damage here that I just have no excuse for. There we go. Still didn't kill him. Man. There goes that one. All right, we got them both. Man, that was rough. Uh, okay, let's buy a couple of spirit hearts just so I feel a little bit better. And you know what? We'll actually buy three, and that way I can complete the... I, I'm totally taking damage here. It's bound to happen. That attack is... There's four of them? I can't believe we've got double Sisters V. 
<laughs> That's just ridiculous. Man. Come on, guys. You gotta... Oh, don't want to stand there. That was not where I wanted to stand. Oh, man. I want to try and focus on getting rid of this one first. There we go. There goes that one. And then you should be relatively easy to deal with. Whew. That was very close. And Gimpy and Dead Bird. Um, I don't think it's worth it for either of those yet again. I think we just... Uh, Let's buy a key for the next floor. Yeah, let's buy one key for the next floor in case there's not one on sale in that shop and let's head on down. We'll save our High Priestess card for uh, Ultra Greed at the very end. Use that and down we go. Let's see, so in here we have Headless Baby, which is an okay item. Basically just leaves creep on the ground that enemies can damage themselves on. Not really a game-winning item. Uh, Blood Clot is... I don't know how Blood Clot works with uh, Azazel, with Brimstone. That's a range up, which actually, as Azazel, is probably worth it, to be honest. It's a little bit of a range increase, and uh, Azazel's big problem is range. And here we have a troll bomb. That was very much not worth it. And then I think that's really all I want here. I don't need the key again because there's no more shops, uh, no more things to open. So let's reroll that. <sighs> Mom's wig, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. PhD I don't want in this case. Because we bought, we got the uh, the tarot cloth earlier, or whatever it's called, that basically doubles the effectiveness of tarot cards. There we go. Oh, I hit the spikes. That was very much accidental. Oh, let's not stick. Oh, okay, we're fine. I thought you were doing the little brimstone laser thing. They're rolly attacks. I can kind of hide behind the skulls and not take damage. All right, you're dead. And you're dead. There we go. Let's just start up again. I didn't mean to hit the button. I just need to get in the habit of, like, staying away from that button until I'm ready to hit it. Stay away from the center of the room. There we go. What popped up? Oh, okay, you're easy. No problem. Uh, use our Book of Revelation. Oh, really? That many? I hate these guys. There we go. One more, I think. Yeah, that's the last one. Alright, you're dead. And you're dead. Okay. Okay. Is that all of them? Is there a battery or a spirit heart for sale in here? There is not. I'm not particularly interested in any of these items, honestly. Um, I am going to take meat. It's a damage up, but it also gives me a red heart. Which means if we get something good in our, uh, um, in our deal with the devil at the end of this floor... We will be able to take it, and that's actually very important. Okay. And... You as well, go away. And we got the Dark One. Double, uh, Dark One and Little Horn. Little Horn I'm not super concerned with. It's the Dark... Thank you, Infamy, for blocking that damage for me. I appreciate it. There we go. Oh, hi. Little Horn was the one I wasn't worried about. Little Horn was the one that actually hit me. Okay, you're dead. There we go. Got him. And then last but not least, the deal with the Devil Wave. Really double bloat. Man, that's rough. This is a very annoying enemy when you're even fighting just one. 
two of them is just cruel. Come on. Ah, man. I'm, I may actually die here. We'll see. Hopefully not. There we go. That was rough. That was very rough. And Krampus. Come on. That's not what I wanted. I was, I was hoping for like an Abaddon or something. Oh, there was no way I was getting out of the way of that. Okay. Well, Lump of Coal is acceptable, I guess. Uh, and there's really nothing left for us on this floor, so let's just head down. What we may end up doing, if Spirit Hearts are for sale in the shop, I may just end up buying, like, six Spirit Hearts. Um, and they are not. There is this golden chest over the here, though. Let's see, a little bit of extra money. Not super good. Man, although this would give me double the effect from Book of Revelation, so we're actually going to take that. Ah, I'm really disappointed there's no Spirit Heart for sale. That's very unfortunate for us. Double Envy? Hopefully shouldn't be too bad. Oh, you pop back up. Hi. The annoying thing about Envy is that he just takes forever to kill. Ah, that was bad. All right, let's use Book of Revelation. That'll give us two spirit hearts every time we use it, which is good. There we go. Oh, so bad. There is a chance, though. Like, this isn't over yet. Okay, that's fine. Break that. Oh, there was two. Okay, good to know. Oh, really? Spawned right on top of me. Uh, don't want to be over there. Get rid of him. Still that ghost floating around, but we'll... We'll leave him alone. And I don't know how many waves I've got left, but it can't be too many. There we go. And... Go away. There we go. Alright. Well, I don't think any of these are going to save our run. So, let's try and... Reroll it. There we go. Um... That is a damage up, but I what I really need is health, honestly. That's what I need more than anything else. Come on, reroll. Okay, we have spirit hearts for sale. So I think what we're just going to do is buy, like, all the spirit hearts. Our damage is fine. Uh, the next floor, there isn't anything left. There, There's no... It's just the boss. So... We're just going to go for it like this and pin? Pin. Triple pin. Easy. This is like our ideal boss fight right here. Just be And another very ideal boss fight for us. Oh, and I got hit anyway. Terrible. Let's use this. Start stacking up some health. Ah, that was bad. I need to stop taking, like, so much damage. There we go. Uh, that was unintentional, but it actually worked out. I'll, I'll roll with it. We're okay. And then finally, our boss. And this is going to be annoying. Luckily, it won't be as bad since I'm immune to creep thanks to being able to fly. But if it weren't for that, this would be an incredibly annoying boss fight. And then I just need to keep moving until he pops up right underneath me. That's totally fair, game. Thank you for that. That's why the stain is super annoying, because he's almost impossible to avoid sometimes. Like, there's just nothing you can do. There we go. Uh, dodge out of the way. Thank you, Infamy. All right, he's dead. Whew, still almost got hit there. All right, let's see what we got. Couple of chests. Spirit hearts. Uh, we got spirit hearts from one, so you know what? I'll call it a win. And we have enough money to buy two more spirit hearts. And then that's going to do it for this floor. And then we just have our final floor left over. There we go. We didn't... 
we kind of, uh, we had some issues in this run. <laughs> the shop was not kind to us. There really wasn't that much stuff there for us to buy that was actually useful. Like, most of our shops didn't even have a reroll machine. I think we only had, like, one, maybe two shops towards the end there that did. I wish I had a bomb that I could blow these guys up with, but too late. And now we fart fight uh, Ultra Greed, who is incredibly annoying. And unfortunately... Okay, bombs are... Just stay away. Let him clear some space. Oh, we got the lucky toe for something. All right, we want to pick these coins up before Ultra Greed does, because he will devour any and all coins on the ground. And I'm going to drop coins every time I get hit. So, actually... And bombs again. Let's just stay away. There we go. And we are... Man, we are taking so much damage that's just completely unacceptable. Enough with the bombs, guy. And they have a huge explosion radius, so... Oh, thank you, Infamy. Ah, hit again. I want to pick my coins back up. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to have, like, any money. All right, hearts we can just destroy. They'll heal him a little bit if I don't. And we just want to keep doing damage. The problem is I got to get in. I got to get in so close to even just hit him. There we go. Ah, and then he charges at me. And I don't have any money left over, so... This this fight will drain your cash, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, also, we got this High Priestess card. We should probably be making use of it. Keys we can just break. And what these are going to do is spawn a ton of enemies out of the doors. So we're about to have, like, waves upon waves of these little greed guys. But they're not too bad. Because we can basically take them out almost instantly. I'm not confident about the result of this fight, though. Like, we, we just didn't get what we needed on this run. We'll just avoid those. And we're just taking too much damage here. And he's got, like, this annoying armor that makes him... Like, my damage doesn't... Or his armor, like, scales with my damage? Man. Stop getting hit. You know what? We're just gonna keep hitting him? Yeah, that's... Yeah, it's over. It's Well, it's not over quite yet, but it's almost over. We got him down to half health. And... Horror of Babylon. Come on. Stay away, coins. Ah. Rip. Well, it was worth a shot. <laughs> Guys, that is going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.